Amigos and amigas, welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you're doing well. Hope this Sunday is epic. Halloween is tomorrow. You know I'm getting dressed. I might be posting some pics on Instagram of my costume. I highly recommend you follow me. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm just excited. I love Halloween. And, you know, keeping the Halloween theme going, we're gonna see one of the most horrific things my eyes have ever gazed upon. Really spooky, honestly. So there's this TikToker with half a million followers. And I just wanna say this, I have no problem with you. I don't hate you. I don't want you canceled and dead and all of the crazy stuff people do. No, none of that. Like, I just say in your content is great. These sad, pathetic, fake stories that people make on TikTok just for the sake of getting empathy and getting views and getting their music out there. It's just marketing. It's good marketing. I don't know what kind of 10-year-olds fall for it. I just find it weird. I saw upon this video and I thought, man, this is just so embarrassing. This is straight up out of Disney. This is straight out of Hannah Montana, which is a certified hood classic, by the way. Anyways, let's just get into this. My coworker doesn't know I make music. Suddenly, I heard my son playing from his Spotify playlist. I think he was feeling it. <laughs> this is so, so, so clearly planned. Clearly never happened. Once again, this is straight out of a Hannah Montana episode. My friend, my co-worker is actually a big fan of me and my music. This new up and coming artist with like less than a million monthly listeners out of nowhere, their co-worker is into their music. Like it just sounds like a Disney show. Oh my God, guys, my mom is a big fan of Sensitive Society, but he doesn't even know that's her son. Follow for more. Like it's good marketing. I just find it really weird. This is my new song. All my excess moms go listen so i can do music full-time one day i wish you nothing but the best and you got this i believe in you i just don't like when they pretend and their co-worker found out they make music or they're a youtuber or they have only fans and they spread them cheeks for ten dollars per month how does he not know do you go by a different name at work how would we not know smartest tiktoker honestly yeah guys it's not like i go into my classroom or my classes or on a date or to dinner and hey sir what's your name um it's just sensitive society <laughs> No shot, he hasn't been fired listening to music on his speaker. <laughs> Get his reaction for us. This is clearly fake. And of course, they milk it for like four different videos. Here's the other one. Day two of my co-worker playing my song. He is still vibing. How should I tell him? What I would do is, hey, you like that song? Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of it. Of course I am. I love um, the Certified Hood classic, All My Excess Moms. <laughs> I just my favorite banger. So I'm the singer and the guy's just like, okay, cool. I like it. Keep up the great work. This person says, those people think they're the main character in a Disney Channel soap opera. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a Disney adult, not gonna lie. And here we have part 55. Sorry, part four. Guys, it was the first song he played when he came in today. Okay. No. Okay, this is what <laughs> I cannot believe and I refuse people actually believe this type of stuff I cannot believe there's people on TikTok, grown-ass people who are like oh, what the fuck this is so real if this actually happened in real world they will be fired or they will definitely be you know hey can you turn that shit off please it's not a certified hood classic yet I think these people watch a lot of Disney movies and way too much The Office and I do too I love Disney movies and I love The Office one of my favorite shows of all time that's not reality I don't put music and then the whole office starts dancing twerking on my face guys it was the first song he played when he came in today Cap. not him starting a dance party in the office he got my other co-worker vibing too i got nervy but my girl kate knows what's up hey chad i really like the song you've been playing who's it by uh brooke alex I think I've seen better acting on the hub, honestly. Listen, you can just click on their Spotify profile picture and you can see how they look. And I hate that I'm explaining this logic. I wish it got easier. I wish it got better. But the reveal is something else. I mean, this got 1 million likes. Once again, I don't hate this girl. I don't think she's a horrible, pathetic person or anything for this. I'm probably gonna exaggerate the title because that's just what I do. It's just goofy ass clown behavior on TikTok that needs to be called out. Like simple, it doesn't go any further than that. It's fake wholesome 
wholesomeness and I just hate it. You cannot fabricate stuff like this. Of course, I love wholesome stuff, but when you fabricate it and then pretend that it's real and then you convince TikTok and they're like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. How do you see that? No, like there's people who actually believe this is real when this is not the case. This is just a whacker Hannah Montana, honestly. Like, <laughs> My coworker has been playing my song for a whole week. I'm going to tell him it's me. Oh, no. Okay, Chad, I have to tell you something. What? Um, this song, you know who it's by? Uh, yeah, Brooke Alex. That's me. What? <laughs> That's me. I'm Brooke Alex. That's my stage name. My co-worker doesn't know I- This is you? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, wait. Not him looking up my website and everything. Stop, I'm dead. You have merch? <gasps> Can I have this? I'm buying this right now. Watching oh again. Oh my god, I'm famous. <laughs> Is he gonna give me a boyfriend now? <laughs> And of course she has merch ready to go. Like this is peak industry plant 101 and it's really good advertisement and it's very good marketing. Like I can knock her for that. Like it's solid. I would do it too. Honestly, anyone could do it. Like it's super easy to trick people on TikTok. Like they'll believe anything. They actually think the craziest conspiracy theories and some TikTokers actually believe the sun isn't real. If they think that this, this is very possible. I'm not hating on her. And you know, she has the merch and then the website, not him looking up everything. And then like, Oh yeah, he's gotta get some fucking merch. Everything. Stop, I'm dead. You have merch? <gasps> Can I have this? I'm buying it. I, um, I have merch as well in case anyone cares about me. <laughs> we need his reaction of him wearing your merch. <laughs> Hannah Montana be like, his support is so beautiful here and pure. It's not real. This has been fabricated. Like, this is cap. This is all cap, no lie. He is a blessing. True fans are a gift from God. Amen. I do believe that. Most of these people actually believe this. Not just a true fan, but a true friend. I'm creaming my pants. I can't believe my friend is Hannah Montana. Trust me, I love Hannah Montana as much as the next girl. I really do. That's a show for a reason. Like, this is just light Walmart discount best value Hannah Montana. Like, honestly. Again, nothing harmful or nothing cringy like the other stuff I talk about. You know, I don't hate her or anything. Far from it, really. But I just don't like this new wave of fake awesome behavior. It defeats the whole purpose of it, in my opinion. Those are just my two cents. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm a hateful person? Anyways, guys. Guys, love you so much. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. All right.